Well, it turns out that members of Congress are affected by media bias. This is confirmed by a study that came out recently by Vanderbilt University that takes a look at how the following coverage has influenced lawmakers. There's a problem here. Where that's what Obama does. That's what the left does. They they villainize the wealthy, the job creators. They they, they uh, play class warfare games all the time. He thinks that Iran is a serious threat. He's been talking about this throughout the campaign. Right, and, and he's the, been talking and the about the notion that he doesn't that's think that it's a serious threat. You may not like it. The other guys had flip flops too. But, I, but don't look, come on here hey, and blame Fox get, News for your guys' flip flops. Don't Governor Romney telling supporters. That a large portion of the American population is dependent on government and most likely will not vote for him. Here's my question Why is that controversial? That's true. Well, the study shows that the rise of Fox News has pulled members of Congress to the right. It takes a look at the political positions of Congress after Fox News came to their districts. Fox launched in 1996, and this study takes a look at the, the stances of our elected leaders between that time and the year 2000. The study states, quote, representatives from districts where Fox News begins broadcasting becomes slightly more conservative relative to similar representatives in other districts where Fox News is not present. Given the distinctive ideological content of Fox News, the effect is pro predictably largest among more liberal members. So as the media becomes less objective and more biased, how will that continue to impact the way lawmakers and the American, the way American people think? To discuss, I'm joined now by RT producer Rachel Kersey. Yes, Rachel, How's nice to have you with? here. Yeah, glad to be here. So there's proof now Fox is making its mark on the mindset of those we elect into Congress. Should, the, should Americans be concerned about this? A little bit, yes, especially considering that Fox has been the number one in terms of ratings for broadcast news for the past 10 years. It's clear already that Fox has a huge impact on the way that our political discourse is run. Now seeing that that discourse has actually trickled up, in a sense, to the elected officials themselves, considering how many flaws we've seen that you've personally pointed out in your reporting in terms of Fox's biases, I think that this is definitely something that should concern us, especially if we're looking at media as a way to provide provide some sort of objective truth or help us figure out how our country is run. Now this study looks exclusively at Fox News, uh, so it looks like the network is being singled out. Absolutely. And the reason why it's being singled out in particular is for the, the methodology of the study. So Fox launched in 1996, but it didn't launch nationally in 1996. It started in some major markets and kind of worked its way out. It rippled out to the rest of the country. So this provided these researchers with a really excellent opportunity to have a control for their study. Figure it's difficult to determine who is having an effect on who. Is it the legislators that are affecting the media or vice versa? So this gave them an opportunity to say, OK, this congressional person is in a district that has Fox News in it, and they're voting this way as compared to, say, the way they voted in 1995. Now let's compare them to someone who doesn't have Fox News in their district. And what they were able to find is that there was actually a difference between the two of them, statistically different enough to actually change the way they voted, and enough to make a, a publishable report by Yale. Uh, that's interesting. You know, Fox claims that they are just leveling the playing field, that um, they are just bringing the voice to a, uh, th their voice to a media landscape that is typically slanted toward the left. What do you think about that argument? Well, you know, regardless of whether they're, they're more right than the other media sources, I think that what we should think about is that this is a study done on Fox that actually we should apply to the other media sources as well, right? MSNBC and CNN also have an effect on the audiences who watch them, on the legislators who watch them. The only thing is that it was more difficult to do that study because they didn't have this unique opportunity of those uh, di of those broadcast networks launching over time geographically in distinct locations. So what we should really be concerned about is thinking, okay, what's going on here is that when the mainstream media has these very clear biases, biases we see towards the military-industrial complex, fear of actually countering um, you know, state sources like the State Department or the White House for fear of then losing their establishment ties, that this is something that truly does affect the way that legislation is done in Congress and on Capitol Hill. That's interesting. Um, we should point out, though, that on Fox, Republicans are still fair game for scrutiny uh, on Fox News. In fact, uh, they ask some important questions about them. Let's take a listen.
When he was governor of Massachusetts, he was known as a centrist. Is he conservative enough? We will want to see that candidate whom we can trust will just inherently, instinctively turn right. The obituary is being written too early, as it turns out, for the Tea Party. Maybe the, the correct obituary should be written for the party establishment within the Republican Party or party centrist. Some important questions they're asking there. So can Fox News actually make people that are already on the right, or that way, on the right, more conservative? Definitely. I think there's a reason why we've heard the term rhino, Republican in name only, come out more frequently. It's because the party is becoming kind of more interested in a witch hunt of its own members that might be interested in compromising with people on the left or even just being more moderate in general. And that's something that Fox News has played a huge part in, is shaming people towards becoming further and further to the right. And we saw during the debates it was almost like a race of who can be more conservative. And we actually got one of our correspondents to the White House, uh, excuse me, to Congress today uh, to ask the reaction uh, from lawmakers to this study. Let's take a listen to what they said. <laughs> it's absurd. <laughs> You don't think no there's more a than MSNBC decides how uh, how Democratic lawmakers vote. No more or less than any other uh, news media and newspapers and radio and all the other outlets that are out there. They all have a role to play in providing information to voters and and then having voters contact their legislators on their positions on issues. I do watch Fox News, but I take everything into consideration, and uh, that's not the only news outlet that I get information from. But uh, you know, I think I think very highly of Fox and. The reporting that they do. I think it generally is very fair and balanced. Okay, so they won't admit that they're personally being affected by the coverage of Fox News, so I guess, but we're seeing that this study is saying the contrary. Is it then happening on more of a subconscious level? Is, is, that, is it fair to say that? I mean, it's certainly possible. And we also have to remember that these legislators, as you just saw, they're people, right? And there are already tons of studies out that show how media actually changes the way that people think when they're talking about issues. Even though they're in that hallowed hall in the beltway, they're still just people at the end of the day watching news to try and make more informed decisions. I guess we're, we're all human, right, Rachel? Right. <laughs> Some of us have more power than others. That is, that is true. Uh, really great to have you here to weigh in. That was RT producer Rachel Kurzius. Thanks for having me, Liz.